Good morning, everybody. I'm Brandon Lewis with PNW Team 2, here to give you an update on the Cedar Creek Fire um, operations for Tuesday today. So I'm going to start um, talking about what we're doing out on the west side of the fire. Um, we've got indirect lines that are being put in uh, from the 19 road all the way down to Highway 58. Um, current operations up here, um, really the most impactful to folks is we've got a lot of uh, equipment working in and around the OHV park area. Um, those folks are, are doing some good progress in there. Um, we're looking at that OHV park being closed for another two to three days. Really, um, with the progress we're seeing, we'll have that opened up by this weekend, although access may be limited to um, the road systems coming in here as opposed to off the 19 road because we're going to be working down towards the 19 later in the week. Um, continuing on down, uh, 24 road really kind of splits that operation. And uh, what we have going on down towards Highway 58 from the 24 road is a, a pretty major fuel break going in there. A lot of logging equipment, a lot of trucks hauling brush and debris out and uh, things are progressing pretty good there. We've probably got another seven to 10 days before we get that line complete down to uh, Highway 58. And by complete, that's a full, everything's done in there. Um, it's really going in kind of phases right now. Um, as the first part of that progress goes, they're gonna be looking at this road system that goes on the north side of the railroad tracks, um, working with the railroad um, to get a fuel break in that area as we come around to really strengthen that Highway 58 corridor. So if the fire does decide to, to move on us to the south, we have something in place that we don't have to shut the highway down for. Uh, moving around over into Division um, Kilo, uh, we have um, a lot of folks working along the 5883 road, putting in a, excuse me, that's Division Tango, not Kilo, um, putting in a, a good fuel break along the 5883 road, and they're really gonna tie into the lower Fu Fuji trail system. And we're gonna continue that fuel break with some brushing and trail improvement all the way out to the Waldo Lake Road. And then no plans right now to do any major work along the Waldo Lake Road, but we are improving this uh, 5896 road from the Shadow Bay Campground out to the Waldo Lake Road. So now focusing in a little bit more on the actual fire perimeter. Um, Division Gulf out here, we are continuing to, to look at some options to put indirect lines in through the wilderness with making as little impact as possible for the resources that are at risk there. Um, Division, Division Delta is looking at and really starting to improve this 1944, excuse me, right here, 1944 road that comes up from the 19 road and is going to tie into the um, 2417 road. Uh, they got some folks out there doing some brushing, some mastication along that road system. And we do have a little chunk here where the roads don't connect that we're going to be putting some hand crews, um, potentially dozers if we can get them in that country, to connect those two road systems. Uh, let's see, Division Alpha. Um, has been working this 2417 road and we have a really good fuel break in there. Um, that is complete uh, with the exception we do have some, um, some chipping operations that are going on in there. Um, but other than that, we're, we're done with that road system and that's really to keep this fire from moving to the north if it decides to move that way. So Division Alpha is shifting a lot of their operations over here to the 1934 road. And they're gonna be looking at the same type of fuel break on that road, um, really to kind of compartmentalize this fire. If it decides to move north, we have a couple options that we can try to hold the fire up. Um, continuing down to the south side, Division Whiskey Tango, uh, the 24, 21 road system is really in about the same shape as the 2417 road. Um, just some final touches on that. Uh, the big thing going on down here is we've got fire that's coming down in Cedar Creek that we are helping with some UAS um, 
PSD operations, and then when the air clears up a little bit later this afternoon, we're gonna get the helicopter with some PSD to really kind of bring that fire down to the road system so we can have an anchor point and start work into the east and the west um, when conditions allow. So that's what I have for our update for today. Thank you, have a good day.